Howdy there, folks. Tex of the Black Pants Legion here. And guess what? It's time to play some Battletech Advanced 3062. This is one of two mods of Battletech, or Hairbrain Schemes Battletech, that I play. The other is Rogue Tech, which is giant and crazy and still good. Battletech Advanced, though, is this one. It's made by this guy named Bloody Doves, which you can go find on Twitch. I would recommend going and saying hi, because you can see this dude working really hard to make this everything it is, and he does a really good job. Both teams work together, they share notes and assets, and believe it or not, they put my dumbass in this game for some reason. <laughs> nice people, honestly. I wanted to say before we began, yes, I did hear the news that Harebrain Schemes had approached Paradox and had asked them, quite kindly, could we have another Battletech game? And Paradox said no. I find this to be a damn shame because HBS gave us a better Battletech game than we had any right to expect or deserve. And while certainly not a perfect product, it was certainly good enough. I'm very sad to hear that they will not get another chance at this and that Paradox said no. They made a lot of good games. They brought Shadowrun to light for the first time in a generation and did a very good job of it. Hell, Dragonfall is still one of my favorite RPGs. And though limited and certainly not a straight lift of tabletop, it was good and had great writing. So Hairbrain Schemes, if any of you guys hear this, please know the community appreciates the shit out of you and that you did very well for us and that we hope you find success and fortune in the future through the endeavors of your hard work and your noble dedication to your craft. Well, that's the best speech I can come up with off the top of my head. Today we are going to begin a new Let's Play. We are going to tell the story of Van Zandt Free State Militia Company D. Oh, we're going to have a fun time. At any rate, folks, this will be my Let's Play. I'm not the best at tabletop, so <laughs> please, please bear with me. <laughs> I'm also not the best at this game. If you want to see a competent playthrough, you're going to have to look elsewhere. If you want to hear me meander and ramble and storytell, well, welcome aboard. <laughs> oh, somebody in the Legion um, started rewriting the words to SpongeBob SquarePants for Battletech, and now it's stuck in my head. Uh, who lives in Katyusha on Stranamakti? Nick Kerensky. Balding and angry and Russian is he? Nick Kerensky. <laughs> <laughs> The older you get, the dumber things make you laugh. Okay, so we can choose all sorts of things, because the game starts in 3062. You can start as a Clanner, a Rano, a Blakist. You can start off as Davion, St. Ives, Curita, Lau, Magistracy, Marion, Merrick, Outworld, Steiner, Torian, Battle Armor, Medium Max, Industrials, Lights Only, Mech Commander 2, Mercenary. Look at all these choices. Look at all these choices, and uh-oh. Yes. All right, there. So let's make a guy. Uh, let's see, where are we from? Uh, down in the deep periphery. Uh, let's say that we were a smuggler, you know, maybe, you know, or a officer trainee. What passes for that out there? And we're going to go with our uh, drug slush fund slash life savings. Time to make a fella. I need a certain... I need a certain visage that commands a deep respect and a certain level of smugness. There's a lot of people that are far too pretty to be mech warriors. Then again, who's to say these people didn't go to glamour shots, you know? Ah, there we are. 
Generalissimo Solano Lopez. See, there I am. I, I'm probably going to redo my voices. I, I think I did dialogue that was way too long for that because it was my first attempt at doing something, and I can do a lot better. Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. Hilarious. Awesome. Duncan Fisher. I'm going to go with Elias Tefexis, another man who is cursed with a natural voice that makes people go, wow, he sounds great, and that's just how he sounds. And he's like, this is how I sound. He's also in done movies and stuff. He's in The Expanse. All right, let's go to war. Battletech Advanced 3062. War is business and war never changes. Welcome to the Inner Sphere, Commander. You are a mercenary standing on the bridge of your Star League vintage dropship, the Argo, which Comstar has not taken for some reason. Your mech bays have a few choice mechs you've scrounged up in the Inner Sphere and beyond expand before you. This is your moment. Reach out and seize it. Make your name and your mark on the Inner Sphere. Not really. What we're going to do is first going to have some fun here. We're going to customize our company. We're going to go in here, and I'm going to, I think, okay, there's black, so two to the left is gray. Good old color blindness. Now I have to match these, so give me a moment. Black, and then two to the left is gray. Van Zandt Company D, uh, their color scheme is primer. <laughs> and... Well, thank you, people, for helping me find that. Now, there's a lot of fun logos in here. A lot of very fun logos. And you can play as all sorts of neat people. But I am honored that they put my group in here. We are Van Zandt, Free State Militia, Company D. And I love that they also have minis. That's fun. All right, so we're going to fix the power system. And then we're going to go down to the mech bay and see what horrible, tragic nonsense we're stuck with. Oh, yes. Bonus rewards. Get your loot crate here. Mech spare parts to start us off. That's a bunch of random crap. It's okay. We'll get more random crap. Okay. An R60X. So, AC-10, machine gun, all right, standard R-60, another R-60X, an R-71, that's not bad, LRM-15, and an R-60C. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, so we got some choices, and guess what? Spin! All right. We are, let's make sure we know where the fuck we are. We're in the Cinnamon Toast fuck, are we? The map is huge in Battletech Advanced. <laughs> it's it's big. So here's my objective for this game. We started over here in the Who Gives a Fuck Foundation, and we're going to roll across Steiner Space and go over here and poke uh, the, the clanners. That is my main objective, is to roll over this way and then poke them. That is my main objective, is to get to Clanner Space and go be belligerent toward them. And make money along the way. That is our main objective. So let's go to the store. Out here in the periphery, what do we got? What do we have in the periphery store? We got nothing for equipment, which is expected. Uh, Inferno, yes. Uh, oh, another LRM-15. I'm going to need to take that. Some cannons, which are all right. Uh, Beagle Probe, uh, Double Heat Sink Kid for two million sea bills. No. Take, I won't pay that for any. No. Uh uh. Not, not gonna do that. Nope. All right, let's see. No. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Nope. All right. So we got Jack and shit, and Jack left town, and that's fine. We're going to need to do some work here. Let's go on down to the barracks and uh, allocate some skills here. Multi-target, of course, so I can shoot the things I'm aiming at. And let's go see what uh, bums we can hire from the local 
from the locals, right? Demon. Well, that's not a bad name. Oh, wow, cool. Chocolate chip camo. Ain't seen that in a while. All right, let's do this. Let us do this to battle. To glorious battle. The local government has asked us to seek and destroy a guy. And he's going to be a Marion, so it, we, we could be fighting God knows what. Let us bring the urban max, shall we? <laughs> Where's the Generalissimo? Slapdash. What a great name for a pilot. What a great name. All right, shall we? To battle. So I have a running theory on pilots. You, you need to not be afraid of pilots who are named stuff like, you know, My name's Killfuck Soul Shitter. My name is Demon. My name is Turbo. These, these people are not terrifying at all. These, these people are living out their best power fantasy. Uh, as they can. As they can. As you'd imagine. The ones to be afraid of are the ones that are named like Fluffles and Toast and bath salts the ones that are just like wait what because every military nickname that sounds cool like pimp or something uh you know it, it you're like why is your name pimp and the guy's gonna be like because i'm i'm cool and suave like a pimp but in reality it means like pooped in my pants it's an acronym you need you need somebody who is absolutely batshit and doesn't care what you think of their call sign Call signs are earned, not given. Well, no. They're both. Oh, well. Intel's wrong. We're gonna go down there, and this guy's gonna have, like... <laughs> this guy's gonna have, like, a whole toolbox full of herd for us. Alright, Irbies. Move up at the speed of smell, shall we? Come on, boys, we got this. It's the doctor. Oh my god, it is. Look. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that the doctor from, uh... Jurassic Park? I'm not gonna say anything. Obviously, times are hard. He's had to work for me. All right, so the Irbies have been faced with their first catastrophic issue, which is a, a valley. We have to go downhill, which is good for Irbies. Then we have to go back up it, which is not good for Irbies. <laughs> All right, Irbies. Stand to and assemble. The only thing that works in my favor is that we got jump jets. The problem is, is they ain't gonna take us far. These are Irbies. They they don't jump far at all. They can get stuck. All right, and rough terrain, which slows them down. The enemy is probably like they see our dropship leaving, and they presume they're being, you know ambushed by experts no it's just taking us that long to get in position because we have four urban max which i'm told is the hardest start possible i don't think that's true i just had somebody say that text the urban max of this this is gonna be a terrible let's play sure it'll be a terrible let's play but not for that reason All right, there. Oh my God, <laughs> he's on another mountain. This is gonna take forever. All right, let's see if we can jump up here. There we go. Thank God. Let's let's get up here, shall we? Shall we, Irbies? We can do pop up fire. We can we can pop up and toaster them. 
something. Yeah, there we go. Oh god. Oh no. Just a scratch. It's a fucking Jenner. We're in trouble. Actually, I'm gonna take that Mac if I can. I'm gonna take that Jenner. He's stuck in here with me. In motion, you must expect the unexpected in the kingdom of madness. I'm gonna shoot at you with an auto cannon and I'm gonna miss because I'm dumb. He sees one Urban Mac, and he's like, oh, those poor mercenaries. He sees four Urban Macs, and he starts hearing clown music. <laughs> oh, you put a hole in an Irby. I must be out dozens of dollars. Forward, boys. No, you're not. You're just shooting at the sky, which is fine, you know. That's what you're supposed to do. Shoot the sky. All right, let's let's put a round in you. Come on, Engaging. miss. See, the Jenner is fantastic. It's one of my favorite lights. It just goes. Uh, I've never had one fail to deliver. It either makes me laugh or it makes me cry, but it delivers something. It delivers entertainment. I hit him a few times. Now he'll think about it. He's probably gonna take off at the speed of lightning and kill the shit out of us, which is fine. Urbies, forward, kill. No hits. Yes, we did. We did miss. Kill. Ooh. Ooh, did that? No? Urbies are just swinging for the fences here. Ooh, that's a hit. That is a hit. That is a palpable hit, yes. All right, come on, Herbies. Come on, Herbies. Come on, Herbies. Take him down. Destroy him. That's some good hits. Oh, he's going down. We knocked him down. Hell yes. Pilot is bleeding out. He's getting back up. He's He has just spilled coffee all over his lap, and he's going to beat the shit out of us. He is not happy. Commander, I'm wounded. Wow. Already a wounded pilot. Slapdash, please. We haven't even gotten to the uh, actual threat here. This is just their help. So, let's let's see what we can do. Close in with an Irby. Miss? Come on, machine gun. Hit something nice. Okay, the Jenner is gonna back off and shoot again. Only hits with one of the four medium lasers. Please don't destroy the urban mech. Oh, pilot incapacitated. Fuck yeah. That's that salvage. All right, let's get into abilities and use medicine. Mac warrior, show them what you got. Yeah, which is medicine. You just hear someone like unrolling a thing of tape. <laughs> it's like, get the medical kit, sir. This is just duct tape. I said, get the medical kit. <laughs> All right, now we have to go find our actual target now that we've modestly inconvenienced the person. And because I used the medical kit, I bought that many more rounds. A lot of more rounds. Oh man, they shot a hole in the foot of the Irby. This is the pilot will bleed out in like three months. You can tell it's an Urban Mac heavy unit. What round is this? 500. I am both hoping and terrified that this is a heavier mech. I, I want the salvage, but I don't want to die. I don't want him to come down here and sandblast my guys like a soup cracker. Which they will. What? Just pilot incapacitated. Killed in action. Fell down. 
And then there were three Irvin Max. Oh, this is a promising start. Oh, he sees us. He's coming around. I will have the high ground. Which is relative. These are Irvies. Next round, I might be able to actually break visual contact. And then we'll see what happens. Come on, Irvies. Come on, Irvies. Come on, Irvies. You can do this. The little urban mech that could. Oh? 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 What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Damn it. He's gonna make this hard, isn't he? The high ground. Okay, what are we shooting at? It's a hunchback, and it's a 4P. Oh, no. Oh, good God, why? We're in trouble. Yeah, he's gonna turn around and just blow us off the map. This is not good. You know, can I jump down there? Probably next round. I, I probably could. Alright, let's, let's get in here and start scaring this guy with Urban Max. LRM-15, go! Of course, I run into a swayback right off the bat. Watch him turn around and just yeet one of these guys. Okay. If he had hit with all of those, this thing would be gone. It would be Death Star has reached firing range and then just gone. Alright, let's jump down even though I have a fucked up leg. Oh no, I can't. It is way too high. <laughs> it's like a cat that can't make a jump, you know? It's all right. You know what? Fire. This isn't. This is a hunchback. This is gonna take a minute. It's it's a hunchy. Oh, I got a round through. Okay, that's good. That is good for me. I just need to keep pelting him until he falls over. If he runs, I'm in trouble. The Hunchback is not fast, as I said in the video, but it's faster than an Urban Mac. What's he gonna do? He's gonna carve my guy apart. If he gets another good round of shooting, I'm in trouble. So I need to lay into this dude with everything I got. Alright, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We can do this. We can do this. We're good people. Not really. Uh, we're good enough. We like us. You like us, maybe. Uh, self affirmations. Shoot. There we go. There we go. Come on, fall down. Fall down, you son of a bitch. Yes. Please take a nap. Please take a nap. Please have sleepy time. I might get lucky. I might get lucky. I'm gonna keep saying it until it happens. He's getting back up. The hunchback stands up. This is a door fortress moment. Okay, panic. Panic. Oh, he, he is mad now. Wait for dice to roll? Nobody exploded. Alright, I'm gonna take this as a sign from the gods, so let's keep swinging, boys and girls. I want that hunchback. <sighs> right arm destroyed? Which really doesn't mean much, but it's a start. Um, it's going to be an expensive fix if even I can salvage it. But if I can get a hunchback right off, I am going to wreck shit. Attacking from Panicked. Excellent. All I have to do is keep this pilot pretty much engaged until he falls down again, bleeds out, or explodes. Oh, that's good. Right torso destroyed. He is running out of weapons. He punched out. Fuck yes. Successful. I win. Barely. <sighs> Whew, I was scared there. Had one Irby down before we even hit the main objective, which it happens. Urban mechs are not known for their um, much, actually, at all. 
Now, can I... Dead. Slapdash is dead. They just dead. It's like they fell down and hurt their head and had an owie. And of course, they only give me two parts of the 4P. Life is not fair. I'm going to cry a bit. I think I'm allowed. What's funny in this mod is if your pilot punches out before they die, you can sometimes have to go do a search and rescue mission to find their ass. Uh, I had that happen in a previous playthrough of this. Had to go find them. And saving Private Ryan in this was horrifying. <laughs> I was just screaming. Because in finding them, uh, I found a lot more trouble. I found a hell of a lot more trouble. So let's go down to the Mag Bay and cry as we uh, don't get the hunchback. I'm just so sad. But we got a Jenner, which is a good Mac. Jenners are fantastic. Everybody likes them. For good reason. They're very reliable. And they can do a lot of fun things. So let's go find another mission. While fortune favors us. While, while fortune favors us. Um, yeah. Here we go. Mopping up. Battle. Destroy base. Destroy base. Solo duel. Huh? I don't know. That sounds like a good way to get murdered. And lose everything. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's do this. Let's go fight some people for not a lot of money, but lots of salvage. And I'm going to take the Jenner. Uh, and hey, Pharaoh, welcome to the company. You know what? Whisper. I'm going to take you because you might be quiet. Imagine if that was one of my requirements when recruiting back warriors. I'm like, do you talk a lot? Do you talk a lot? When you drink the last cup of coffee, uh, do you make more? This would be my checklist. It would be that. It would be, um... <laughs> On what side do you fold the toilet paper roll? OCD Mech Commander. Not a game people want to play, I'm sure. Not trying to drive your engagement down below in the comments, uh, like so many creators have done over the years, but would be on your hiring list. I wonder... <laughs> Are you aware of what deodorant is and do you use it? How many times a day do you brush your teeth? Do you like loud music? If so, please list your top five bands. And we got dropped off on top of a mountain and we're fighting a guy... Guy named Greasy? Alright. It ain't easy being greasy, I guess. Jenner, run. Excellent. Now, never make fun of an Irby. They can, they can always do good. Says the guy who's been giving shit to Irbys the whole time. Um, but yeah, Irbys can be fine. However, if I had four Jenners, this would be terrifying. Because Jenners, you can just run. <laughs> you can just run like the wind. You're like, yeah, I'm going to go over here now. I'll see you later. I have a Jenner. All right. Looks like we got two Chuckle Fox on the radar. What do you want? That's a good question. We must define that every day, brother. Standing by. My objective is to run up there, boop their snoot, as the terminology goes, give them a bonk, you know. And once you give them a bonk, uh, make them run back into the Irby Swarm. Which is what you call a group of Irby's, I guess. An, an Irby swarm. Okay. We got three enemy contacts on the radar. Well, probably not radar, considering this is ground level. There's a lot of trees, mountains, and everything else. But the state of sensors in Battletech has always been, you know, uh, a little sus. Because I know there's all sorts of sensors you could have. You could have magnetometers. You could have ground shake uh, or seismographs. You could have all sorts of things. Seismo sensors, not a seismograph. You don't want to have like a manual printout going. Just <laughs> that would be funny. 
All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Panther. Ooh, yeah. He could have a PPC, which he does. Well, let's let him have it. I'll give him a bonk and make him run back toward me. I could probably force him through this uh, cut in the terrain and then shoot him with the Irbies once they come into range and start going blap, blap, blap. Owens, right. Owens is good. That's like a generous successor, Omnimac. That's an expensive piece of kid for this level. Yeah, is he going to go over the mountain? All right, so here's what we're going to do, is we're going to fall back and make this guy work for it. And we're just going to keep shooting at him. Doing what Jenners do, hit and run. And hopefully pull him into an ambush, which would be possible if the Irbies were in position. So I have to uh, keep moving my ambush zone closer to the Irbies. Who are meandering toward the target. And I'm not going to shoot until I uh, get a little closer. Because I don't have a lot of ammo. Alright, so let's see what he does. Panther coming up. Alright, he's taking the bait. Which is good and bad. Because that means he's going to start shooting at me. And that panther has a PPC. Which is always. No one likes the PPC getting shot at them. Alright, is this guy going to go around or is he going to hide? We'll see. Got a beat on him. Yes. Let's fall back into the trees. Yep, there you go. Just gonna keep shooting. Just gonna keep bonking this guy until he comes through. Then I'll lay on him. Alright, he is now almost where I want. Ow! Fuck. Structure exposed already. Sad face. All right, I'm going to need to run up in order to get some good line of sight on this guy. Come on, come on, come on. That Owens is coming into here. This is going to be a slug fight. This is going to be point blank and nasty. Irby's might be in range, but as you can see, I've got some terrain working against me. However, if I'd crawled up here to get line of sight, they would have been able to just shoot from there and then go around. Ooh, a Hollander. Okay. That is a lot of bark and bite, but they are made out of paper, so... I know... I knew a guy back in the day who used to love the Hollander. Uh, he doesn't anymore. <laughs> it exploded. Okay, let's see. You know what? Let's, let's give this guy some LRM-15, shall we? Missiles. All right. Now we got to get into this vicious fight here. So I'm going to run in here to give this guy not only a difficult target, but a little bit of cover. And then I'm going to actually use my precise strike. Now, let's see. Let's shoot this guy. Wow. Way to miss with lasers. Can you draw a straight line between your guns and that guy? Not really. Wow. Melee Hollander. I've seen it all. Just a scratch, Commander. That would have been hilarious if he'd killed that Jenner. I would have laughed my ass off. No, I would have cried, actually. Um, let's get up here. Precise strike. Can we? Can we? Yes. That's, that's worth rolling them dice. That is worth it. Ooh. I actually connected. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Fire. Miss, son of a bitch. All right, that is... Yeah, you missed. It's coming out of your paycheck. The Urbies are upon you. Let's lay into that panther. Blap. Blap, blap, blap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Explode. Structure exposed. Hell yes. Some good damage. Not great damage, but good enough. Hell yeah. 
it already. All right, I'm going to circle behind because I want them to herd. I want the bad guys to go. But why? Why am I under such attack? But I'm also hoping to split their fire and getting them to turn. Jump shed destroyed. Good hit there. Panther's not a bad mech. I I've had good success with them. Oh, wow. One whole missile? Well, you shouldn't have. That was very sweet of you. Time to close into Urbi range. My name is Titus Urbanicus, and I have come here to shit post. Ooh, panic level critical. Let's see if he uh See if he punches out. See if he reaches for them yeet seat handles. Yes, Let's make him hurt, shall we? Light him up. Missed. Son of a bitch. Uh, oops. Alright, so let's get in here. And... <laughs> that panther's almost done. He is almost done. Fall over. Fall over. Fall over. Think about what you've done. I'll call your mom. Tell her you've been a bad boy. That Hollander is just... Holy shit. Yeah. He's actually killing the shit out of my pilot in melee. This is, this is turning into why. Three activations remaining. All right, well, if I can get behind this guy, I can make that not matter so much. This Hollander is clapping people. He's acting like a little hunchback. Maybe he was a hunchback pilot. I don't know. All right, Irby. Swing for the fences. Swing for the fences. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I made him get out. He couldn't stand the heat of the kitchen, so he's driving away in his sad little car. I miss Macho Man. He was one of those wrestlers that just... really knew how to talk mad shit. Then again, most of them have to. It's the job. But Macho Man would come out and just be like, You must expect the unexpected in the kingdom of madness. Oh yeah, now the secret to success is making sure you don't fail. You gotta fight people with your fists and make them die. You know, and you're like, cool. Alright, let's see. Let's go over here. Macho Man was a hunchback pilot. Fight me. Hollander, fall over. What do you want? In motion, Commander. All right, let's keep fighting. No die, only shoot. All I have to do is knock that gun out, and I will feel a lot better. The Hollander is not the toughest thing in the world, uh, but doesn't have to be. It only has to last long enough to get that gun on target, because it's walking artillery most of the time. This is one's got an AC-10, or LBX AC-10, which is nice. All right. Ooh. Let's get swinging. He doesn't seem to care. He is just going to do something horrible. This pilot is made of tough stuff. Yep. Left leg destroyed. My pilot's going down. No retreat, no retreat he says. Uh, I, I would retreat. And I'd be like, uh, yeah, command element is down. We're not getting paid. Let's get out of here. Oh, well. We're going to send... We're going to take that Hollander home, maybe. Nope. Oh, oh, Owens is using his probe. All right, let's get in here. Keep shooting. Oh, yes. 
I can't keep her steady. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Bonk. Oh, yes. Let's get in here and do the magic, shall we? Kill Hollander. Engine crit, gyro crit, and... Done. Handle. Two salvageable parts, because the rest are in heaven. So next up, we need to get, uh... Oh, boy. The Owens. Some would say that's a better Jenner. Some would say it's a more expensive Jenner. Uh, some would say it's the Jenner, too. A lot of people have different opinions on the Owens. I see it as the more expensive Jenner, but still pretty good. I just want to knock it down. That's all I want to do. Oh yeah, I can't hit shit. Because he came around that corner, he's flying. Alright, here we go. Precise strike. Please shoot with some. I hope we can. I hope we can hit them hard. Blast. No. Come on. We can't seem to hit this guy. He is just way too fucking fast. Narked. Oof. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I agree. Let's go. Let's go, Irby's. Let's go. Clap, clap. Do it. Miss. Ooh, no. Well, got him with a small laser. Alright, a little closer. Can we? Can we? Maybe. Owens, come on. The Irbys can't hit him, and the Owens doesn't have enough firepower to kill my Irbys. We are at an impasse. Yeah, he has Tag and SRM4 Narc Launcher in melee. This is sad. This is like two people fighting with pool noodles. Ow. All right, I have some options. One of them is DFA, and you know what? You know what? Let's do it. Herbies. I did some damage. You're gonna get Goomba stomped by Irby's, sir. All right. Because if you're in if you're in Irby range, you're in trouble. Oh, holy shit! Engine destroyed. Good job, little guys. High five all around. You guys are gonna get name brand soda, and they're like, "What name?" And I'm like, "Store brand." <laughs> They're like, that's not a name. And I'm like, Kroger's is a name. <laughs> oh, my my sides. This is going to be bad. This we're, we're losing equipment to not gain much. And we're fighting people nobody cares about. This guy's going to be in the hospital forever. Okay, let's see. What do we get? We get parts of stuff, but not really whole of anything. Uh, so we're going to need to move on to another planet with nicer stuff. So maybe I might have a chance. All right, let's see. Deniable destruction, destroy a base, a solo duel. That's not going to help. A battle. Mm, yeah, no. We're going to go find better things to do with our time. By that, I mean something a little more lucrative. Oh, that seems shitty. Uh, nope. All right. Orms down. No. Timbuktu. We're going there. Yeah, we're going to go all the way to the very edge of Steiner space. 
Uh, live fire exercises. No thanks. I I have ooh a crate of stuff. There's usually some bonus rewards that are all right. Ooh, a sentinel. It's a mech. It's I mean it's a it's a medium mech. It's uh, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna scrap what's left of my Jenner because I can't fix the fucker. So we'll take the sentinel. Uh, it's good enough. All right, let's get back into our mech bay. I know some people will scream that I got rid of the Jenner. Look, it's a Sentinel. He's got a little punch fist and a gun. Uh, we've got... All right, let's see how she's set up. S, Street Guesser M2, Ultra Auto Cannon 5. Great. Fantastic. I'm... No, we're going to get under the hood on this and make it better. Uh, let's see. What do we have for auto cannons? Yup. All right, do we have ammo for that? Yup. All right. I'm starting to get a plan in my head. Is it a smart plan? No. Is it a plan I can commit to? We'll see. Put you there. And let's see what we can put in weapon-wise. Because if I can have all auto cannons, uh, this would be a very herby Christmas. Okay. I have enough room for two tons of ammo, which is good enough. All right. Some would say this is ridiculous. I would agree. All right, let's keep going. Sentinels, eh, I would rather have had that Jenner working, but to each their own, right? Here we roll up on a drop ship or a jump ship driving a drop ship that they've never seen before, and we're just gonna assure them that we're on the level. Uh, we don't we don't need anything with story based right now, uh, because we will have more than enough trouble <laughs> as is. But you can turn all sorts of things on and off in this mod, and the, the history will unfold, or it won't, or you can run into Santa. All sorts of things happen. Excellent. Now we won't die by stepping on the wrong power conduit or touching the wrong wall. Splendid. Let's get the mech bays fixed, please. All right. Dun 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 all right, so we finished that. It's going to take a while to get everything in order. And we're on a marginal world at best, which is going to suck, but we'll be fine. Uh, no, thank you. I, I don't need campaign flashpoints at this point. Uh, this We have our own objective. We have our own campaign. Go poke Jade Falcon. That is That is our objective right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. We're going to end this orbit. It's going to be great. And we're going to go to the store and hope they have something to help us. Please. Please have something to help us. Please. Please. Chaparral. Arrow 4? Yes. Yes, we will. We'll buy two of these. That's a good price. Uh-huh. All right, let's see. Ammo Gauss. I'm going to buy that while I can. A Gauss rifle. Uh, I'm going to buy that while I can. Ammo AC-20, gonna buy that while I can. Uh, Ultra Auto Cannon Ammo, gonna buy that while I can. Um, lasers. Medium Lasers, one. They have some snub nose PPCs, I'm gonna wait on that. Uh, Streak SRM-6s, which is nice. Ammo Arrow 4, gonna buy that while I can. MRM Ammo, I never see it. I'll need to buy that while I can. Watch me saying that, and then all of a sudden it's going to be... I find nothing but MRMs. Which is fine. That's what happens when you tempt fate. Fate got hands. As you can see, there's VTOLs and all sorts of stuff, which is nice. So what we're going to do is now, because we have um, artillery, this is going to get interesting. And by interesting, I mean anything that moves in a grid square, I'm going to delete. Hot damn. That's a great name for a tanker. New mech warriors available. 
All right. Can't hire any of the uh, special fellas. And that's fine. I wouldn't hire on with my group either. We probably look like a bunch of rowdy pirates. They just look up and they're like, you, you guys seem a little not with it. And I'll be like, how dare you be so accurate? How dare you say hurtful things? Okay, so the generalissimo is drinking through a straw. Probably, probably not even coherent. We probably got him hopped up on fentanyl and what have you. He's probably just drooling in the corner. We're like, hey, we're gonna go do stuff, and he just nods and thumbs up. He says that to everything. All right, let's go find a job, shall we? Let's go find a job. Let us go find work. All right, patrol? No. Assassination. Ooh, ooh a war criminal, huh? All right. That's kind of relative in this setting. All right, you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go kill ourselves a war criminal. Oh, it's Comstar. Hey, we're gonna go antagonize Comstar. I'm sure that will go just fine. Um, nervous. All right. So what are we going to do? Oh yeah, Chaparral, Chaparral. Now, why would you bring the Chaparral, Mister Tex? Well, because Cry Havoc and Let Slip the Arrow Four. That's why. These days, war criminal basically means anyone on the other side of the battlefield. I wouldn't worry about the trial comment. There won't be one. Well, there's a trial by combat called, Will this missile fit into your cockpit? And the answer is yes. Arrow 4 is good, and I will be using it. Also, uh, this mod has nukes. Oh, they're right there? Oh. The dark wave will resist you. For Blake, he says. Alright. Of course it's... Oh, we have some friends. Never mind, we'll be alright. Maybe. Okay, we have friends. We have a locust who's a friend. We have everything who's a friend. Ready for order. All right, forward. Forward, shall we? Forward. Order. Forward. Waiting for orders. Well, forward is relative with Arabes, isn't it? Alright, we're gonna run up here with a sentinel and we're gonna spot them. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? A mongoose, huh? Well, yeah. Affirmative. Give him a bit of a bonk there. Now, see, I've got this arrow four in the back, and this is fairly close for arrow four, but close enough is fine. Engaging. Oh no. Oh yes. Ooh. Okay, that didn't do shit. God damn it. Well, if at first you don't succeed, use more artillery. They're like, surely they don't have multiple chaparrales. Yes, we do. All right. So he seems to be mostly impervious, and my uh, allies are just rolling up with armor, not doing a lot. Let's do this. Nope. Nope, not going to work. Come on, come on, come on. Standing by. Come on, Herbies. You can do this. LRM, oh, 4% chance. I'll roll those dice. I too like to live dangerously. He's like, why are you shooting at me? And I'm like, I don't know. The Steiner said you're a war criminal. Now that I said that out loud, I realize how ridiculous that sounds. Talk to me. Moving out. All right, get up in their face and shoot them in it. Aye, aye. Yes, I will be scrapping this sentinel as soon as I find something better. Good to go. I would have liked to have seen that uh, hunchback in my hands. Firing. Hey. 
advancing. Yes, advance. This might hurt. It should. It's an arrow four. Oh yeah. One more good bonk ought to do it. Forward, boys. How dare you shoot at the chaparral? That thing is expensive. In fact, I got it for a steal. All right, what are they gonna do? I'm gonna stand there and look all tough? No, they're gonna let the people in the back who they brought us back up kill us. Son of a bitch. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is kill this guy and kill him dead. Because I, the Steiner forces, oh, wow, they brought in a scorpion. Hmm. And an up-armored Saladin. Wow. Their boundless generosity and support knows no bounds. They're like, we will send our finest warriors. That's like a banged-up Hetzer. All right, let's see. AC-10. There we go. A little bit, little bit of laser there. A little bit of, little bit of laser. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Uh-huh. Bonk him. Ooh, right leg destroyed. Oh, you're gonna go down to the ground. Bone saw is ready. Come on, fall down, fall down, fall down. Pass out, pass out, pass out. Barrow drama, excellent. Bonked his head. Now let's just kill him while he's on the floor, shall we? That's their support. Uh, it's not even the target. Whoops. All right, where's the target? Somewhere back here. Bastard. All right, what we're going to have to do is roll out there and find out who the hell he is and uh, then direct the artillery to him. Okay, what did he bring? What did he bring? An assassin? Ugh. This guy must not be important. He must be a very poor war criminal. It's like, what have you done? And he's like, I put Pepsi in milk. And we're like, ugh. I mean, I don't think he deserved to die for that, but gross. Ooh, that hurts. Hit him. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, that locust is just not going to participate, and I started a forest fire in a national park. <laughs> this is like Zion National Park on this planet, and here I am just starting fires. Like, I'm helping. All right, let's 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 try to get in range with the Irbies. I said those words. I might as well have not taken the Irbies. Let's get in range with the Irbies, says Tex. No, that's not going to happen, says everyone else. Hot damn, this guy is helping. A little bit. Like, more than I thought. He showed up. We need to give him a round of applause for that. He's a, he's a good boy. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of things that's up. The world is changing. I'm changing. I feel older these days. Just shoot missiles. Don't ask uncomfortable questions. I've got your back. No, you don't. Roger. Full throttle. All right, shall we? Give him. Give it to him. All right, we're going to get in range with a Chaparral. We're going to put on precise strike with Arrow 4, which is hilarious. Arrow 4 is not exactly... Well, that one was. Hot damn. What I really want is a long tom. That's where artillery is best. 
Attention Grid Square. Okay. Get out. One more, one more. No. All right. He's unsettled because this D minus rate Merc company suddenly is opening up. How dare you shoot back at me? That's against the rules. Let's hit him hard. Oh. Hey, that locust is just taking himself a tour. He's going around doing what he do. Alrighty. What are we going to do now? Oh, the urban mechs are going to move another four feet. Because that's what they do. Alright, what are we going to do? Oh, oh, yeah. Good to go. This Irby is now in range, kind of. He has been for a bit, but yeah, he's having to rely on targeting telemetry from fella up there. Let's get up close, make them fill entire reticle, and then bang. Ooh, that was decent. Now I realize I may have made a mistake. Um, Alright, so this is where indirect fire will hopefully be a friend. Uh, says the guy. You never want to hear those phrases like, maybe indirect fire will help. <laughs> I'm going to guesstimate their grid coordinates. Attention grid coordinates. You're somewhere around there. Blap them. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, what are we going to do? Urban mix? You gonna participate in this war? No they get them participation ribbons. Not really gonna do much though. They're Irby's. I showed up. Might as well be on that medal. Oh hell yes. Thank you local forces for being so cool. Mission well it looks like we pissed Comstar off and we made ourselves some money. Oh, wow. All right. They're like, you can have pots of the assassin if you want. And I'm like, uh, why? It's not a very good mech. It can be, in some versions, almost adequate. But anytime anyone sees an assassin, it's in a gun sight. And it's shooting at you. And you go, eh, are you really worth the ammo? That's typically how the assassin goes. It's not a great mech. It is not a great machine. It's an okay machine. It's a... It's... Mm, mm, it's one of those things. There's some mechs that sound cool but aren't. The assassin's one of those. Let's get into that mech bay. Alright, we have more than enough Herbies. Let's see, storage. See, we have enough to make a whole assassin if we wanted. One whole ass assassin. Let's uh let's get into our jobs here. And let's see if we can't find another one to do while we're waiting. We can do a patrol. A Blakest Lance. That sounds terrifying. Alright. Ooh, yeah. Uh that one's gonna be an ambush. That's going to be rough. Escort a thing. Ambush a convoy. And a battle on another planet. Uh. Hmm. Capture a base. Now, if it was destroy a base, I could do that. Let's just go do this basic patrol here versus the word of Blake. What's the worst that could happen? All right, it's word of Blake. Ugh. The people you can make mad in Battletech are multivarious and terrifying. 
But after Timbuktu, we're going to go find ourselves a proper maybe one and a half skull difficulty planet. We're slowly working our way up through the jungle gym of contracts. And I'm hoping to find an opportunity to apply my firepower uh, upon something that shall give me generous salvage. I have enough urban mechs to deploy uh, to truly terrify almost a full mech lance. But... The issue is, is their mobility is uh, lacking and they don't carry a lot of ammo. And there are a lot of other things that can go very wrong. But we did not choose the Urbies because it would be easy. We chose the Urbies because it was fucking funny. And that is what we do. We shitpost. Carcaradon, Whisper, Doctor, Pharaoh. Let's do this. In Blake's name, we should... Be... I don't care. Eat missiles. He brought up a flea. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we going to do? I'm going <laughs> to... Damn it. Watch this guy just run around us and style on us. I'll be mocking this flea and it comes up and does a flying drop kick and just beats six shades of shit out of me. Alright, here we go. Typically, you only have to connect with a flea like once or twice and then it's over. Easier said than done, though. Now, what we're going to... Oh, wow. Drop this guy off on just the tallest mountain they could find in the background. Good job. Good job, dropship. All right. Fuck it. Arrow four. Bye. It's barely a scratch. Well, I mean, it, it, you, you could have... I don't know. So the Champerel also has an SRM-6, which is what I'm going to hope to do the business here. Left leg destroyed. Go to the ground. Pass the critical point. Yes. Bonk. Pilot bleeding out. Now if the pilot gets up, they're in a world of hurt. They are on fire. They're missing a leg. They're wounded. They're panicked. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, you're about to get urban macked. Yeah. Wow. That was the whole mission. Hey, can you deal with this flea? How weak are you people? They just kind of sad, sadly look away. What local forces do you possess? Were you being terrorized by a flea? They just kind of nod slowly. <laughs> yeah. Are you just terrified because they said their word of blank? Do you have any proof that they are actually word of blank? They shake their head no. <laughs> Someone just drew a sword on the side of their thing and they're like, that's word of blank. No, it's not. There. I get all the salvage now. I have most of a flea. Ugh. Oh, I bid farewell to my beautiful land. And as mustered and ordered before you I stand. To march off to war and to die if I must. And to fight like a bastard in this you must trust. As, as the years, years pass along you will see what it's worth. Bearing bodies and moving to another earth. I fear not the low bear what happens to me. Just as long as my Van Zandt is finally free. Just as long as old Van Zandt will remember me. Set a course to our neighbors or anywhere new. To a place where I can stand alongside the view. Of the bravest we have, though we are not the best. I'll wager we'll pass our most ultimate test. As a mayhem will follow what we do today. For all of our orders are morally great. 
I fear not the low bear, what happens to me? As long as my Tanzant is finally free, for as long as old Tanzant will remember me. With whatever they have left on hand And again we'll rise up to defend our land Though the Thames and militia is always at war Though we never quite know what we are fighting for I fear not the low pair what happens to me As long as my Van Zandt is finally free For as long as old Van Zandt will remember me But if you feel the call and are willing to sign, you will find that you place your life down on that line. Surrender is never a tactic we use, for our cockpits are lacking an ejection fuse. I fear not the low bear what happens to me, as long as my Van Zandt is finally free, just as long as my homeland will remember me. 